Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys or showing you guys how I find cheap flights. My favorite search engine. I've tried Kayak, Cheapo Air, Fly.com. So I've I've used multiple ones before, and this um, I feel like nothing can compare to it. But this is what I found to have the cheapest flights, the easiest to search, and they give me information on flexible days because a lot of times I don't really have specific days that I need to fly somewhere. Um, so I can search and see the whole monthly calendar and see what days are cheaper. Obviously, holidays are going to be more expensive. There are certain days that seem to be cheaper. Um, I normally book on either like Sunday or Tuesday and for some reason they seem a little bit cheaper. And then also depends on like which day you're going to fly. So um, like Southwest, I think sometimes Saturdays are more expensive to fly, which makes sense because it's the weekend. So I use Google Flights. I'm going to actually show you um, a screen recording of how I find my flights. So let's hop into this. Okay, so I'm just on my Google browser. And I'm gonna go to this search bar up here and I'm gonna put um, my destination. So I'm gonna fly from San Juan, which is SJU, to, um, you can either put in, you can see I've searched and stuff in the past, but let's do New York City. I love New York City, so I'll just dream a little and see <laughs> if I can find some good ones. So you'll see it says all and it's gonna pop up all of these other things, Expedia, cheap, Flights.com, One Travel, Chico Air, um, and you'll also see this box. I don't normally click that one. I just go up to the top and click Flights. So that tab is going to bring you to Google Flights, and this is where you're going to see all the um, best prices. So what you can do is do round trip, which is, so I normally do one ways, but let's just do round trip. So what I love is I can go here and click my dates. Let's say I wanna go in January. So I can look at the whole month and see which days are cheapest, 30 to 39. Okay, so once I click my um, flight date, I'm gonna click my return date. So sometimes this can change. So you can see the 18th changed to 306, but it's just, a little bit more. So we'll look at, okay, I want to come back to the 23rd. All of those days are pretty similar, but you see the final price is going to be the 239. So I can fly JetBlue nonstop 239 and it's four hours. So really, really simple. If I don't like flying JetBlue, I can scroll down and see, okay, Delta is the next cheapest and I go 260, no problem. That is one of the searches that I do. So let's do LAX. This is showing me for the days that I already had in, but let me say, okay, I want one stop to fewer. Airline, I do not want Cave Air or American. So I can go in, select those. I can also do my price range. So under, I mean, hopefully under like, 300, but I'm just gonna put that to show you guys that you can select which one. Um, if you want to put your bag options, your time, so I want to leave after 7 p.m. and arrive in between, well, make sure I arrive before 5 p.m. Okay, so you can also select your connecting airports if that matters to you, which it doesn't to me. I normally never select any of these. Um, just because I want my range to be open. So we'll just do one more. I'll put in Dallas to, um, where do we want to go? Seattle. Whoops. I guess I can click either one of those, but I normally just click the one that looks the biggest. Okay. So Seattle, I'm going to take off all my restrictions. Um, 
And let's look at the graph. So this is where I always look. Okay, so you'll see in January and February, there's 171 flights, which is really good. So I don't wanna go in March because that's more expensive. So I wanna go the 17th through, so again, you click your flight and then it changes some of the time. So the 22nd, so my overall price is 177. I'm going to click, I wanna be there early in the day. So 10 a.m. would be perfect. And then my return flight, um, is a little bit longer and have a stop, but if I pay $10 more, I can get non-stop and be back by 145. So I'm gonna click that one. So it tells me overall my flight is 217. So it did go up just a little bit because of that return flight. Select. And then it will take me to Alaska Air. So there's my flight summary and then you can book your flight. All right guys, so I hope that was super helpful. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. But this is something that I'm such a stickler about, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And this is my tip for how I find cheap flights. If you are able to find a cheap flight, be sure to tell me below because I would love to hear that this was really helpful to you. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.